This video is to show how to configure the relay action on the slimmed in receiver. The slimmed in receiver has four relays, and each of them can be set to operate in one of the four different modes. As you can see, mode one is all momentary action across all four relays. Mode two is latching on relays one and two, and momentary on relays three and four. Mode three is all latching action across all four relays, and mode four is all timed. So to configure this, you'll need your transmitter. For the purpose of this video, I'm using a four button key fob. And as you can see, I've prepared button one to relay one, button two to relays two, three to three, and four to four. So this module is currently operating in a momentary action. So we're in mode one. I'm going to change the mode we're operating in to mode two. So relays one and two will be latching and three and four will operate in momentary mode. So to do this, I press and hold the M button for about two seconds. The LED will flash, which means we can now select a menu. The relay actions menu is menu one. So to select menu one, you simply press your L switch when the LED is on LED one. Now we've selected menu one, we can now select the relay number we wish to operate in. So remember, LED1 is for all momentary. LED2 is for 1 and 2 latching, 3 and 4 momentary. LED3 is for all latching, and LED4 is for the timed relay output. So to change your slimmed in receiver to whichever relay mode you wish to use, let's say relay mode 2, you can cycle through to LED2. Then press and hold your L switch. Your four LEDs will flash to confirm you have changed the relay mode. So now, as you can see, when I operate buttons one or two on my transmitter, outputs one and two will operate in a latching mode. And when I operate buttons three and four to their paired outputs, these will operate in a momentary action. I can change these relays to operate back in all momentary. So I press and hold my M switch. I then press my M button again and ensure I'm selecting menu one. I confirm with my L button. And now my outputs all operate on momentary again. You can change your slimmed in to operate in the desired relay action of your choice using the slimmed in relays table. And that's it, configuring the relay action on your slimmed in receiver. For more information on our slimmed in receiver, check out our other videos on our YouTube channel, or alternatively, check the product datasheet.